All right, hell yeah, brothers, how are you doing? Um, quickly, I have a VOA to share regarding 10W30 oil, and this case is XL Boosted from Amsoil, and I'm going to be comparing to the Signature and the Amsoil Dominator. Um, just received the uh, lubricant analysis report, and um, there we go. It's, it's easier if I do this way. Uh, metals, pretty all pure, nothing to say. Contaminant, same thing. Silicone, 6 ppm on the dominator. In case you do oil analysis, at least you, you're starting with that when you see the results. Uh, multi-source metal, uh, you could see the street boosted and street signature as 72 molly B, zero on the dominator. And boron, pretty much equal. I was, I'm impressed that boosted as that much boron. And signature, I was expecting a little bit more on the signature, but overall, anything over 200, it's very good. And I cannot complain about boosted. Dominator 19, there's reasons for it. Um, additives, magnesium boosted as a lot. The others, not that much. But calcium, you could see, even if the boosted quite high as almost 1300, the signature as just a little under 2000 and dominator over 2200 phosphorus pretty much equal uh, between boosted and signature and zinc the same thing dominator obviously it's a racing oil 10w30 all right um i put them in red because anything over uh, like a thousand ppm maybe a little less like 960 uh, you're looking for trouble uh, trouble long term uh, with your cats so be careful with that uh, if you use it for autocross uh, you know whatever uh, weekend of race fine um, but ju just put normal oil after when you're done but most of you probably are running without cats so that's not a big deal uh, so that's it i just wanted to quickly share this info because i don't think i look everywhere for uh, 10W30 Amsoil Boosted Virgin Oil Analysis. I could not find any. So at least it's out there for those who wish to know. And most important to compare between the signature, which honestly, uh, bang for the buck, um, go with a boosted. Uh, because uh, if you're like me, uh, you're not going to do the 40,000 kilometer or a 24,000 miles interval change with the signature. I think it's too much. Even if the oil is still good, uh, usually halfway, it's flush and I, I change it. Uh, the boosted, it's rated for 12,000 miles or 19,000 kilometers. And that one is good for one year also. So that's it. That's all. And take care. Uh, pretty soon I'll come with a video. Um, with a lot of data regarding oil conditioners and oil additives. Take care, bye.